Let's learn a technique to learn our Vesper names and shapes, starting with our trigonal planar. What's interesting about this shape is if you take away this bond, you'll leave a lone pair on the central atom, and notice how the shape changes from a planar triangle to a bent molecule. That's because of, remember, valence shell electron pair repulsions, but more about that in another video. If we do the same thing for the tetrahedral, so that means let's take away a bond. When I do that, I leave a lone pair. Notice the shape changes from a tetrahedral to a trigonal pyramid or pyramidal and if I use my trigonal pyramid and I actually take away another bond remember every time I take away a bond I'm going to put a lone pair in its place notice how this looks the same as this this is also a bent molecule the difference is that this one has an extra lone pair let's look at a complex vesper shape trigonal bipyramid if I take away a bond let's get rid of that one let's put in a lone pair do you recognize that shape that's called a seesaw Okay, so it looks kind of like the name of the shape, and if I take my seesaw and remove one more bond, and in its place I'm going to put a lone pair of electrons, this turns into a T-shaped molecule. Again, it kind of looks like its name. This is a great strategy to learn Vesper. Of course, there are a lot of other shapes that I didn't mention in the short. If you want to see them, please let me know. Thanks a lot for watching.